camera okay good now uh, before before this we have covered the principle of linear impulse and momentum then we arrive okay then we arrive at this equation all right mv momentum plus impulse impulse what is impulse force multiplied by time and momentum after yeah? so this is what we covered and we have gone through two examples not two but three example right so we have gone through um, a crane system a crane system like this then we've gone through another angle right so we have gone through smooth surface and with the friction, right? We have two conditions. And then one scenario with the uh, pulley system. Okay. Yeah. Today we learned something new. Yesterday we stopped at this example three. Today we look at this one. Huh? Okay. Now you, when you have a whole system, uh, when your whole system, you just add the concept, uh, the equation of linear momentum, uh, linear uh, moment, uh, linear impulse and momentum, right? With a summation symbol in front, sum of m individual velocity individual plus the force multiply by time. This one again, force is referring to external force. Huh? We are not interested in the internal force. What mean by internal force? What has happened when, when two bodies join together later? We're not interested to know what happened between the bodies, but we're interested to know what is the external force acting on outside the body. Yeah? Equal to the sum of m multiplied by velocity. This one is a momentum. Huh? linear momentum okay now when we talk about conservation uh, when we talk about conservation <clears throat> there is no longer have external force uh, when we talk about conservation of linear momentum when you when you when the system is cons conserved meaning there's no loss of energy there's no loss of uh, yeah there's no loss of energy then the external force, the impulse is not there. There's no impulse when you have a conservation of energy, a conservation of uh, this momentum, then you can cancel out this uh, impulse. Huh? Then your equation will become momentum before equal to momentum after. This equation is called the conservation of linear momentum. Huh? There's a difference between the previous, we learned previously, which is the equation for the linear momentum and impulse, which is this one, or the principle of linear uh, momentum and impulse, is this one. But when you talk about conservation, if the question asks you to consider or use conservation of linear momentum to solve the question, then you use this one. Eh? Okay, so you only consider momentum before equal to momentum after. You no longer look at impulse. <clears throat> this is a very important equation eh? when you talk about conservation of linear momentum. Okay. So again, when you have a loss of particle inside the system, we can write like previously, mvg, which is the velocity of the gravitational force inside that body, equal to the sum of momentum in the system. So mass doesn't change, right? Mass doesn't change. So mass before will be same as sum of mi will be the same, so you can cancel. So your vg will equal to uh, your VG will equal to your V, so meaning your VG 
will conserve. When you have a conservation of momentum, your velocity of your CG point, all right, as your center of gravity point, will same as center of gravity point for after the incident, right? It will be the same. So this one you can read, huh? Let's look at one example on using conservation of linear momentum. MV1 equal to MV2. Example number four, refer to your handouts. All right. So you're having two train or two truck, have A and B moving in the opposite direction, one coming from the left to right in 1.5 meter per second. Another one come from the right to the left with 0.75 meter per second. The statement give you more information. Normally the statement will give you the weight or not weight, the mass. In this case, 1.5 megagram. Be careful. Huh? Unit SI is kilogram, so you need to change this one to kilogram in your calculation. 15 megagram uh, car A, box car A containing uh, costing at certain speed uh, and horizontally encounter another truck with 12 megagram. So you need to change this one to kilogram. Huh? B at a certain speed. If the car collide and coupled together, what does, does this statement mean? If two car meet together and coupled together, what I mean by coupled means joined together. Determine two things. Determine the speed of both car after coupling and average force between them if coupling take place in 0.8 seconds. <clears throat> okay, before you start, huh? Before you start analysis, you have to imagine the scenario you have. Because in conservation of energy, uh, no, sorry, conservation of linear momentum, you are interested in sum of the mass and velocity equal to sum of the mass velocity. This one before, this one after. <clears throat> so left hand side is anything that is before, right hand side is any everything that is after the incidence. So for the example, on the left hand side is before the impact or before they uh, both of them meet together and this side, right, right hand side is after both of them meet together. So <clears throat> let's draw free body diagrams. Okay, so what happened if two cars join together? Okay. Chocolate color is A. Gray color is B. When they two meet together, A 15 megagram, B is 12 megagram, A is heavy than B, and A is travel faster than B. What do you think when two things meet together and the direction of the two body after them. Steven, what do you think? Steven, what do you think? After the two car meet together, what happened? What happened to these two body? Is it moved to the left or moved to the right? What What is your guess, uh, Steven? Steven, op open your mic if you are mute. Calling Steven. Calling Steven two times. Okay, Stephen was not in the, let me send a message as indication that he's not in the class.
Okay. Uh, Shilton, what do you think? Shilton, are you in the class? Yes, sir. Okay. When two body... I think it moves to the right. Move to the right. Okay. That is uh, our friend, Kes. Huh? Okay. So we continue to draw free body diagram. Let's see whether the gas is correct or not. Huh? So purple color, uh, chocolate color, when they two meet, uh, there's force. So when this one hit this one, there's a force hitting the chocolate color, meaning this, this arrow minus F is pointing to experience by chocolate color. And this, this one, this arrow is pointing to gray color with the force to the right. Huh? Meaning, if two, two, two items meet together, hit together, there's a force. Sorry, I should show this hand. Right. So two, two objects meet together. Huh? So my, this hand is represent chocolate. Huh? This hand, there's a force on chocolate color train, which is this force. Huh? And then when two things hit together, uh, I have to change my, okay. So this is the gray color truck. So gray color, when they hit something, so there's a force acting on the surface here. Okay, this force. Okay, so don't confuse, huh? don't confuse. This force is related to this one, no. Huh? This force acting to this one, this force acting to this one. Huh? Why negative? Why positive one negative? Because we assume all positive direction to the right is positive. And if the force follow to the right positive, if the force move to the left, you get negative. Okay, velocity, we assume positive to the right at this moment. Huh? We assume positive to the right. Okay, we assume to the right. Again, free body diagram is we we is without the velocity. Yeah, uh. I just put in the velocity just to remind myself. I'm going to use the principle of linear impulse and momentum. But in this case, we are assuming we are using the conservation of momentum. Okay. Okay. In this case, momentum is conserved in x direction. So we, we can use the conservation of momentum. Um, this is just at, uh, additional. So um, the force that in happen in the system, we can ignore. So this one, you can cancel out the impulse, right? You can cancel out the impulse in the equation. All right. So this is what you assume, uh, the direction of V to the right hand side. So I pull the uh, free body diagram to here, then we start at analyzing right here. So the linear momentum, conservation of linear momentum on the left hand side is sum of mass and velocity. In this case, we have two body. Okay, you have two body before happening. Uh, before these two have uh, meet together, they are different body. This A, one body, B, one body. So M, A, V, one become one momentum. Body B, mass B multiplied by velocity B, it become one momentum. So we have one momentum to here, one momentum to here. Huh? Okay, so we have MAVA1, MBVB1, this is before. On the right hand side of the conservation of linear momentum, what happened when they two meet together? The question already tell us, if the car collide and coupled together, mean after happening, after they both meet together, two body Coupled means joined together. It doesn't break away. So when it joined together, it become one body. So 
when the two body meet together, you join the mass together because that is the only momentum you have after the collision, right? So two body join together, you only have one mass. So M1 plus M2, uh, so MA plus MB multiplied by V2. We all both move in the same speed, V2. Any question on the conservation of linear momentum? Any question? So this equation will be will be changing if the question change. Uh, if two truck meet together, but after truck meet together, they bounce off. After meet, they bounce off. Then you cannot add anymore. Uh. If the two object after meet, they bounce off, you have to break into like this one, but you change to two, two on the right hand side. Clear? We have two scenarios. Uh. This one is for join together after collision. When two body separate, then you use separate MAV2 plus MBV2. Okay, maybe V3 already because two, two, two body after they separate, they move in the different velocity. So they are more unknown in the equation already. Okay, good. Huh? Everyone okay? Huh? Conservation of linear momentum, okay. Stop me uh, if you don't understand why this one we can write together. Uh. Stop me. Uh. Okay, so again, I just put a note in the slides just to, it's easy for you when you do revision. When it's joined, you join the mass together and move in the same speed. Then you substitute all the information there. Mass A you have, again, just remind to change Megagram into kilogram. Speed in is speed is in meter per second. So M same MB was given 12 megagram put in kilogram in your calculation. V is the same. Uh, v is 0.75. So when you combine two get together, remember to take this one plus this one. Huh? So you get 27000. Zero, zero, zero. Then V2. In this calculation, there's only one unknown left. So you press your calculator, push this one to the left hand side, you get your V2. Okay? So your V2, you found that the value is positive. You get your V2 is 0.5 meter per second, positive. Where is the positive direction? To the right, right? So the direction is to the right. So in test, if this kind of question come up, your answer have to support with the direction arrow. Huh? If this kind of question come up, please include the direction arrow in your answer. All right. Any questions so far for part A? We already solved for part A already. Any question? Oh, Good, yeah? Okay, we move to part B. So part B, it asks you the average force between them if coupled takes place in 0.8 seconds. So let's look at A. Yeah? A, there's a force acting on A during the impact with its negative F. Why negative F? Positive direction to the right is positive. Your force acting in to the left, so that's why there's a negative F there. Okay, all this you can read. So we use the principle of impulse and momentum to calculate. Huh? Positive or impulse to calculate in this case. So MV1 plus impulse equal to momentum after. Okay, so in this case, we can use impulse and momentum. Huh? In part A, we use conservation of momentum. Part B, we return back to the principle of impulse and momentum because we look at individual object. 
Part A, we use conservation of uh, momentum when there are two body involved. Okay, when two body involved, you use the conservation. For part B, you can focus on individual body. When you focus on individual object, you can use the principle of impulse and momentum. In this form, momentum impulse before equal to momentum after. You should be familiar with this formula right now. Because uh, example one, two, three, we already cover this one three times. Huh? Again, substitute all the known value. MA you know, VA you know. This one you need to calculate. This is the force multiplied by time. So you don't know the force is just right. Force average multiplied by the time. How you know the time? The question asks you, give you the time, 0.8. So force divided by time, F multiplied by time. Equal to mass A, copy from the question. V2, you just found just now. Okay, V2, you find in the section A just now. Okay. Inside here, you only have one unknown, which is your force. Average, press your calculator, you get force average is 18.8 kilo newton. Kilo newton. If you use calculator to calculate, you'll get 18800. Zero. Right, in, in the test of final exam, you give me 18800 zero zero newton, you still get the correct answer. Okay, this is just a simplified of uh, the answer. Huh? 18.8 kilo Newton. Good. Everyone okay? Yes, sir. So far, okay, sir. Okay. Steven, yes. Steven, is it Steven here? Steven, still not here. Okay. I give time to second reminder to Stephen. Anyone know what happened to Stephen? Okay. So if no question, we can move to another example. Huh? Next. We look at example five, which are also available in your tutorial handouts. This is quite familiar for most of you. If you go to uh, amusement park, uh, you have this uh, bumper car, right? So you have two bumper car there, A with the speed of three meter per second to the right, B with the speed of two meter per second to the left or to the left. So you have uh, this question is very kind to you. you even write V1, VA, bracket 1, VB, bracket 2. Very kind question. Huh? Right. So let's look at the question. The, the, the statement give you the mass of A is 150 kilogram. B, also same. Right? Both have the same weight. A and B have 150 kilonewton. Uh, and they are given the speed before they meet together, before they freely collide head on, head on, right? If no energy lost during the collision, determine the velocity after collision. Can you observe what is the difference between example five and example four? What happened to the two body after they collide? This one, they break away. Logically, you bump something, it will bounce back. Right? So, this example will show you what happens if you have two body when they collide together and they bounce back, provided there is no loss of energy. Uh, here also give you some hints. No energy loss, normally you can link to conservation of something conservation of energy conservation of momentum uh, that one you can use huh? so free body diagram you have a and b during collision all right so a is the blue color 
B color is the green color, right? Then you put in all the forces. Huh? So first forces in free body diagram always the weight mg. So I put at wa equal to mag. B also same. Oh sorry, apologize. Huh? This should be B. Huh? Uh, because I copy from here, right? So apologize. Huh? There's a typo error in my slides. This is WB equal to MBG. Huh? Okay, apologize for typo error. But in your notes, you should make correction. Huh? Wrong typo error here. Okay, next, there's a, because these two, again, have a contact on the surface, then you have NA and NB. Okay, you have N A and N B. Okay, we stop for this uh, question. You go back to the previous question. Why previous question you don't need the N, although you have contact, right? Why why you why you don't need the normal force in the free body diagram? Can anyone explain? Why in example four? In your free body diagram, for example, four, there's no normal force. Why? Eh? Why? Why? The answer is this one. Eh? Because, because there's no impulse in the system uh, conservation of linear momentum we use conservation of linear momentum in the equation uh. so when it come to example five in your free body diagram there is a normal force on the body right the body stick to the force not stick lah, but have a contact between the bum bumper car and the floor there's a normal force there so each one have one N A and N B, yeah. So apologize for again for this uh, typo error. Then when they meet together, when A bump with B or B bump with A, A bump with something, so there's a force acting on A, yeah. So this force is for A. Same with B, yeah. B is this way, yeah. Then you use the conservation of momentum to solve. Huh? So in this case, do you see the difference between the example 4 and 5? Here, the left-hand side is still same. Momentum 1, momentum 1, uh, object, momentum object 1, momentum object 2, M, A, V, A, 1, M, B, V, B, 1. This is momentum before, for two objects, before they bump together. There's a momentum. Okay, you calculate the momentum before. When they collide, these two bodies in the question, it doesn't say they coupled together, they doesn't mention they join together. So automatic, if it's not joined, it will bounce. Right? It will not uh, in physics logic, the bumper car won't go in each other and then go other way, right? So it will bump and bounce. So you, on the right hand side of the equation, you have two different momentum. A will move back, B will move back, right? So MA, VA2, MB, VB2. This is the differences between example five and example four. Okay, I hope I explained this equation clearly. Yeah? Conservation of momentum, in general, they are look same. But different scenario, you have to be careful on after this side. Okay. Before, before collide, they always have a momentum. So MB1, MB2. Oh sorry, MB1, object one, MB1, object two. After they meet together, there are two scenarios. Either stick together or bounce back. This is the bounce back example. So MAV2, MBV2. The rest, substitution, you have the mass of A, velocity A you have, MB also have, velocity B also have, this one have, 
but you don't know the speed after. You don't know the speed after. Okay. So what you what you need to be careful is the direction of your velocity. Eh? Just to remind you, eh? what is the what you need to be careful when you substitute value is the direction of the whole system. Eh? Usually we we'll assume to the right is positive, going up is positive. This one doesn't go up, so we only need to consider x direction. So x direction to the right is positive. So this one positive, but this one negative because this one to move to the left. That's why for VA positive 3, VB you get negative. Okay. In my slides, I don't write the unit eh, because I don't want to confuse you with the unit. Uh, if you refer to other textbook uh, example, they will write unit inside there. In the exam, in your calculation, it's okay, you don't need to write unit. But final answer, please remember to write the unit. Huh? Okay, so 3, negative 2, VA2, VB2, you don't know. Then you rearrange, you get one equation. VA2 equal to 1 minus VB2. You get one equation from conservation of momentum. So you need another equation to solve what is VA, what is VB. Okay, so from here you get conservation of momentum. You get one equation here. Next. Next, since no energy losses, you can use conservation of energy that you learned in chapter 4. This also gives you some hints. Uh, normally, question you mention if no energy loss, it actually hints you, please use conservation of energy in your calculation. So in this case, you can use conservation of energy. You only have two types of cons uh, energy. Do you still remember? Kinetic energy and potential energy. All right. When you know that you, you use the potential energy, when you see datum in the question, there's no datum here, right? When there's no datum means potential, you can assume zero because there's no difference of elevation. Potential is MGH, right? Uh, so energy, you have two types, kinetic and potential. So kinetic potential before, kinetic potential after. You know the equation of kinetic, right? Okay, let me ask a question. Huh? Uh, what is the equation for kinetic energy? Very simple question. Huh? Steven, are you there? Hello, sir. What happened? Why you keep... Why you keep... Uh, I don't fix in the AC in my room. Okay. What is the equation for kinetic energy? Uh, Steven? 1 over 2 mv squared. Excellent. All right. Good. So you just substitute the equation. So kinetic energy, mv squared. Again, you, you have to remember you have two objects, huh? So you have mv square for a, mv square for b. Eh? Uh, so remember, uh, when it comes to chapter 5, normally you deal with two body. So when two body, remember, in conservation of energy, you have two different particles there, or two different body there, kinetic a, kinetic b. And then there's no potential. I already explained. Uh, there's no potential in both body. A and B, they both move in the same line, same horizon. So there's no change of potential. So zero. Actually, I should put another plus zero here, but it's still the same. Huh? Then what happened after? So after MV square, but now it's two. Speed number two. MV square, but now it's also number two. Because it is after, they have two body, A and B. Why zero? Because there's no change of elevation. Potential, you don't have. All right? Both, sh both still stay on the flat surface after they bump to each other. 
So potential zero. Okay, so you check the equation. Mass you have, velocity A before you have, M you have, velocity before for B you have, M you have, VA2 you don't have, VM you have, VB2 you don't have. Substituting value, you get the second equation. Okay, substituting, this is your homework. Huh? I'll give you the final answer. You will get this quadratic equation. Huh? You will get this quadratic equation. V square plus V, V A square plus V B square. But this one is after. Lah. So you join this one together and you equal to 13. This is the final rearrangement of your answer here you become this one second equation but this equation consists of a and b at two recall just now v a2 equal to one minus v b2 is another equation so actually you are solving simultaneous equation substitute this one okay substitute this one into here yeah substitute this one means this one the whole thing one minus vb2 inside here but square uh, this one sometimes uh, i also see student they know the concept well, very very well before but when it come to careless mistakes sometimes they forget there's a square above okay there's a square above huh? Meaning this this whole thing have to be square plus b square uh, b v b square equal to thirteen. You get a quadratic equation. V square minus v minus six equals zero. Or you can see this one as x square equal to x minus or uh, x square plus x plus c equal zero. This is a quality equation. Huh? So in your mathematics, there are lots of ways to solve for the roots. So find the roots of the quality equation. Okay. So solving for two roots, this is also your homework. Find a V. You have two value. Huh? VB have positive and negative. One is three, one is minus two. One is three, one is minus two. You look at the diagram. Okay. You look at the diagram. Before in mid, what is the velocity? Two, right? Before collide B, you have a two. And this two is to the left, which is negative two. This is one of the answer already. And you are finding what? You are finding after, right? VB two is after. You have this value before already. So the next answer you use from the quadratic equation is VB equal to 3. Make sense? Make sense? Why we choose 3 and not minus 2 from the quadratic equation? Any one of you, you still not understand why we find the answer for VB is 3 and not minus 2? And three is positive value. Where is direction of positive? To the right now. So VB is three meter per second to the right. Okay. You have to understand uh, this one. Uh, because this one you have quadratic equation. And you find quadratic, you have two roots. Means velocity of B have two possible answer. Positive three and negative two. You check the diagram. B, you already have minus 2 before already. So another possible of value of B is 3. Okay. So once you find your VB, once you find your VB, what do you do? Substitute back to the previous equation because you haven't found what is VA. VA2. So you have found your VB. Substitute over here. So 1 minus VB, you get your VA. Okay, so VA equal to 2 meter per second. Okay, uh, 
So you take three, yeah? One minus three, you get minus two, minus two meter per second. Again, what is minus two mean? Positive direction is to the right. You get minus two meter per second. Is actually VA2 after collide, object A move to the left. That's why I give you the final answer as positive and not negative because of the arrow head here. If I my answer, I write VA2 negative 2 meter per second, my arrow is pointing to the right and not to the left. Any question so far? Any question on VB2 and VB, uh, VA2? Any question? No, sir. Understand, huh? So be careful on the positive negative sign. Um, yeah, so that, that is what uh, important in uh, Engineering Dynamics 2. You have to understand what happened in your positive negative answer. Um, and what you assume earlier, you have to stay consistent since the beginning. Huh? So when your positive is to the right from all the beginning, then you use that assumption until the end. Huh? Okay. I think we stop for a while here. Then we go for a break. Huh? Uh, we go for a break. Huh? Uh, let me stop the recording.